Hello Tubes! Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks delay since my last upload so just thought I'd do this quick one. It's a bit of an odd one but we've got the old JCB fast track here. Uh, good tool that it is and we are going to whoop, make that thing there which is an old thing off a spreader it's got a three-point linkage on here and here but it's also got a hitch on there if you can see and I'm going to put a ball socket in there to accept um, A stock trailer a small stock trailer 14 foot stock trailer and we're going to cut these wings off here put a ball hitch on there and make it secure so i can pull a 14 foot stock box but that's i know it's only a small task but um i've got a uh, some sheep that need coming home in a place where it's too tight to get my larger box in and it's a bit too wet so um needs most sometimes and we're also going to talk about the pet hate I have with the fast track it's the only one it's the linkage arms one could always go down now because you've got a a lock there that you move a bar in the cab because the linkage arms won't come down it won't release that hitch so you have to come behind stand on that and move try and move the linkage arms down with the buttons on the thing then you can't unlock the hitch because you're not in the cab so you have to put a bar in there with one foot one foot on there and that to release it it's a real right roll pain in the arse so um, that is one fault of the fast track so that's why we're making this device now because the the hitch here is too close into the machine and it's too high up for me to just put the drop pin in there because it'll be just running on the back wheel of the smaller box there, which is no good so um that's really what we're going to do so we're going to have the hitch hooked on here on the top link and as i showed you before that will be further back then it'll be about a meter further back won't it It'll be about a metre further back then and we'll have plenty of room and we can adjust the height of the thing. So it should be sorted. So uh, as we get on with it I will show you. Right YouTubers there we are. We've cut them two side bits off and fixed that on. So that's bolted on tight with a big washer and a spacer. So that's okay. I give this a good bash about the hammer. It's a bit of rust on it, but it looks strong enough. So I guess only pull in a a small a box with like 30 sheep on, so it should be okay, hopefully. I was tempted on putting a piece of steel up there like that. From here to there. But I don't think it needs it. So we will try and fit this thing on now in a minute and see what it looks like. Hopefully the, that bottom bit isn't hanging down too much, but um, we'll have a look now. So just a short one. That wasn't too hard. We finished it all off, put it uh, back on the tractor. Centered it all up. It seems okay. Uh, I haven't actually tried it on there yet. So that's what it is. I suppose it's a tractor with wheels length back now. And uh, I can lift it up and down and put it where I want. Like I said, there isn't a huge amount of weight going to be on it. It's only going to be 35 sheep from my death. 30, between 30 and 35. 
So, like I said, that was a bit of scrap metal. It was a twisted fertilizer spreader, so it looks like it'll come into a good use after all. So, um, I know there wasn't a great deal to see on this, but it's just something somebody can do. Uh, like I said, I have been got, been meaning to put up a few more videos, but my father's been extremely Ill, Ill again. And uh, that's the only reason I haven't been doing it. The upstairs has come on quite well. and uh, But I've got to go in for another eye operation now in, in two weeks time. So things are coming a bit at the same time. But I will try and put up another video, of for, a forestry video, in the next couple of weeks before I go for my eye operation. All right, so... Um, you might see another part of this and probably be going to get the sheep or not, so we'll see. Happy New Year everyone, all the best guys.